This training video is to introduce you to a sister program of HLS. The program is called HLS Player. It is a video player. <clears throat> it is a remote controlled video player. The intent is to have videos started and stopped under control of HLS. The design now is that HLS can control up to 10 different unique video projectors or video players. Um, my intent is to show you. Um, you can go to my HLS download site and you can download it. It's called HLS Player. It's version 1A. There are a lot of DLLs that have to be associated with this. So what I suggest you do is you create a directory. Do not put it on the, on the, uh, on the desktop. Create a directory and place the zip file in that, explode it, and then you can create a zip file from the exe to the desktop. Um, you cannot move the exe out of the folder you put it in because it's expecting all the DLLs it needs right there in the folder. This is what the video player looks like when you bring it up. As I mentioned before, HLS can communicate with 10 different unique video players. The way a video player is identified is you go up to each video player and you set a node address. In this case, I've set this video player's node at address 1. Uh, legal node addresses go from 1 to 10. I'm going to show you the controls in just a minute, but we're going to we're going to load a file to begin with. And I'm just going to pick Thriller 1 MP4. Now when it loads, it'll automatically come up and it'll automatically this start playing. This is part 1 of two videos that I'll Let's describe bring video how to control. use HLS for doing Let's auto hit and the mute. Get rid of the button. Um, one of the things you're going to need to do is, in order to make sure that video, excuse me, that communication uh, is properly uh, being processed between the player and HLS, is this needs an IP address. When this does not have an IP address, that's the flag that says there's a problem with the communication. Now, this is not a real pretty control panel. You got play, you got pause, and you got stop. It's not meant to be a primary um, video displayer. Use one of your other programs for that. Again, this is primarily for remote control video projection. Now let's just go ahead, if you notice, it's playing in the background. Okay? Let's just go ahead and cancel out of this. Now, what I wanted to show you is full screen control. When you go full screen, you've got full screen. There are not any uh, borders at all. So if you're using HLS player on a projector, you don't have to worry about any uh, headers or, or bottom uh, menu, uh, um, whatever. What you see is what you get. Now, in order to break out of full screen, or excuse me, in order to break out of full screen mode, you hit the escape key, and you'll come right back. If you're in full screen, and you want to get at the control panel, it is control C. Control C will bring you up, and will allow you to manipulate the controls. We could hit stop if we wanted to. Now we're at full stop, we'll hit cancel, we'll hit escape, and we're right back to the video player. Now, that's you playing directly on the video player. Now let me show you what it does with HLS. We're going we're gonna to shrink HLS here a little bit. Now, 
the way it's set up right now is I've got it so you can run this in test mode without having a sequence implemented. So you can go ahead and play with it. I don't have triggers set up, so it's not, as of today, it's not implementable into a sequence. It'll be within a day or two. But it is for you to test. If you come up here to output, you have a test HLS player. Now, this will tell you that the HLS can communicate with one player, player number one, and there's the IP address. In order to communicate with it, you need to select it. If you have more than one player out there, this little test bed, you have to select the player you want to talk to. Now, we're going to go ahead and play a video. The way this has worked is you do not have to load a playlist out on that remote computer. All you need to know is the physical path names to the video files that you want to play. And when we get into sequencing, you'll build a trigger, and part of that trigger will be a player trigger, which will allow you to put a path name. And the player will play the video associated with that path name. Here we're going to go C colon backslash A backslash thriller one dot mp4. Now when I hit play, we're going to get communication between HLS and the player. The player's in the background and she should start up. There she goes. The player went ahead and started on up. Let's come back to HLS. I'll hit stop. If you notice, the player in the background stopped. We'll hit play and it plays. We'll hit stop and it stops. So, the new capability that I've just introduced is a remote controlled video player that hopefully some of you may take it and drive a projector. And um, that wraps up the video. I hope you enjoy. Bye.